In this video, I'm going to go over uh, exporting images in FilterStorm 4.5 and uh, all the little settings and uh, other things you can do with exporting. So by default, you have these two export options, um, photo library and email. You can send to one or both by selecting them. You see the check boxes and hitting the export button. But those aren't the only options we have. Uh, if I hit this plus button here, I can add something new. I'll just call it Twitter for now. Um, and let's just select Twitter there. Um, Twitter uses the uh, system tweeting, so there's nothing to set up. So I'll just hit done. I can also set up uh, an FTP address. I'll just call it FTP. And under, oops, first select, first select is FTP, then the, rest, the options will show up for the FTP options. Make it passive, you can set the port, address. Uh, I'm not going to type that in right now, but done. So now we have these extra options. So if I go, I can save to say the photo library and to Twitter, so I can hit the export button. It'll process the image. It was already processed once, so it doesn't have to do it again. Um, so it saved to the library and it brought up this, the Twitter export sheet. Um, if you want, you can follow me at Tai Shimizu, that's T-A-I-S-H-I-M-I-Z-U, that's my personal account, and at FilterStorm, uh, from the FilterStorm account, which will tweet about updates and coming things, and you can ask me questions there if you like. Uh, I'm just going to cancel this, and go back into exporting. Um, so we also have this settings button, which contains a bunch of set uh, settings we can change. Um, so the scale to fit is something that you might like to use. So it, you can set a width and a height and what it will do. So if I enter say 800 by 800, now every time I export, uh, at the once it's done processing, it'll scale it down so the long side of the image is 800 pixels long and the short side is just scaled so that it doesn't, uh, it doesn't get distorted. We can set this max size uh, slider. It defaults to 8.7. Um, so the max size is um, the largest size that the image will be represented internally. So 8.7 is larger than the uh, iPhone's camera, so it'll, that means it'll load up the image at full size and it will process everything full size. But if you have something like a 15 megapixel image, when that image is loaded in, it will be scaled down to 8.7 megapixels and processed at that size. Um, that makes things process a bit faster. But if you want the full size, you can always turn that up um, so that your image is not scaled down. JPEG quality defaults to about 75%. That's a good balance between file size and, uh, and quality. But if you want full quality, you should turn that all the way up. Uh, this confirm before export button. So when that's turned on, when I go to export the image, every time it'll bring up these options if that's turned on. The XMP with original thing is a, uh, most of you aren't going to care about that, but if you're sending original files, you can send a .xmp file containing the uh, IPTC metadata. So if I tap and hold on something like my FTP option, it'll bring back up those options. Um, we discuss these the files to send. So the original image is unedited, untouched entirely. Um, and you can send that alongside uh, your edited image. The final version large is what's on by default. That's um, at the time of export, it'll, it'll pull in the full-sized image um, or scaled actually to that uh, max size. I, uh, if it's larger than the max size, it'll be scaled down. If it's smaller, it'll uh, stay its original size uh, and process it at that size. Final version working, um, what that is is it's the image you're looking at while you're editing. So if you don't care about uh, exporting at full size, and you can just turn that on, and it will not have to reprocess. It'll send very quickly. The automation file is a file describing all the edits that were performed on the image. Uh, there's another video about automations. So uh, watch that video if you uh, want to know what they are. Uh, this will only work uh, for sending to places that take accept files, so not this won't work with the photo, uh, sending to the photo library, but it will work with um, FTP or Dropbox or email. 
let's turn that back down. Oh, and you can delete the same way. You can delete there, and that's what you need to know about exporting images from FilterStorm.